Hello everyone, this is the tutorial video for dynamic range sum queries. We're given an array of n integers, we need to process q queries. In the ith query, we need to update either update the value at the kth position or we need to output the sum of value in the range a comma b. So for this example, we're given an array of 8 integers, we need to output this query type 2 and where we need to output the sum of 1 to 4. So the sum of values in range 1 to 4 is 14 and then in this query we need to update the value at the position 3 to 1 and then output the sum of range 1 to 4 again which turns out to be 11. Now we are going to use segmentary to solve this problem and segmentary is a very powerful data structure where which can help you solve many problems uh, even on code forces and other platforms. Now let me show you what a segmentary looks like. So this is essentially a segmentary. So what is this? We have an array this. This is the same example, same from the example. Now to yes to uh, segmentary basically divides the array into parts of powers of two so the and keeps track of all the sum of uh, those two elements and those powers of two so the sum of these two elements these two elements these two elements and these two elements are, is all stored in the segmentary so five is the sum of three and two four uh, nine is the sum of four and five and so on and it also keeps track of every four block element sum so the sum in the range 0 to 3 is 14 and 4 to 7 is 10 and it also keeps track of sum of eight elements so the answer for uh, answer answer for 0 to 7 is 24 if we had one more element let's say 9 it will form another tree and till here and then we'll have another kind of root so yeah that's how you build a segmentary now how is segmentary going to help us in solving anything right so segmentary basically provides us a way to query uh, uh, reduce the time complexity to log of n for any query so to get the sum uh, from range l to r so let's say 0 to 5 we'll just need to add the sum of 14 uh, we'll just need to add the sum of 14 and 2 uh, to come and combine them to get the sum from 0 to 5 14 is the sum of 0 to 3 and 2 is the sum of 4 to 5 so we already have our st answer stored we just need to use the answers in the segmentary and which uh, does not look like a big deal here but when the ranges are very large it saves us, saves us a lot of time so and what about the update uh, queries right we also have update queries otherwise we would have used something like sparse table or something uh, we need to do updates in log of n2 so how is segmentary ab able to achieve log of n time in updating any uh, element so if we need to update let's say 4 so let's update 4 with 1 right then the only values that will change just imagine this the only values that will change will be on this path to root root right so only these four values will change and at most if this is a binary tree at most we will have a log of n sized path right because this stores one element this stores two elements this stores three elements and this stores four elements sorry this stores four elements this stores eight elements and so on right so and the leaf nodes are always the array we are given so we can at most have a log of n sized path right you can see why the path path length won't go out of login so okay that's all fine 
but how do we process these queries so we consider a default value of l and r as l as sorry let's just write it round down and i equals to n minus 1 and whenever a query comes right so we just prune this uh, range to match the range here so how do we prune this range so let's calculate a mid element for this mid equals to l plus r l plus r divided by 2 right and then fetch the answer from answer from let's just make this bigger how do i make this bigger fetch on fetch answer from l2 mid in the range l2 mid and fetch answer from mid plus 1 to r and whatever the answer comes out to be and that will be our total answer so let's say we need the answer for sum in range let's say 0 to 5 that was our initial answer right initial query so we need the sum from 0 to 5 so we just need to calculate um, the sum from 0 to mid what is mid so let's say total number of elements is l equals to 0 and r equals to 7 so we need to calculate the sum from 0 to so the answer does does lie between 0 to 7 right the 0 to 5 does lie between 0 to 7 but not completely it's partially in, in the range so whenever the answer is partially in the range we fetch the answer from uh, l comma mid l comma mid so mid here is 3 i think right and then we fetch the answer from 0 comma 3 and we fetch the answer from 4 to 7 and we already have the answer stored for 0 to 3 so we don't need to go further down but in this case the answer still is uh, partially in the range we need to fetch the answer from 4 to 7 right we need to fetch the answer from 4 to 5 but the range given here is 4 to 7 so we are here so we fetch the answer from 4 to 5 and 6 to 7 okay so we fetch the answer from 4 to 5 and 6 to 7 the answer that comes from 6 to 7 will not be applicable for uh, the query of 0 to 5 it does not lie 0, 0 to 5 does not have any elements in 6 to 7 so this will be disregarded and the will only fetch the answer from 4 to 5 and we'll add the answer that comes from 0 to 3 and we'll add the answer from 4 to 5 and that's how we'll calculate the answer right and let's see how we're going to build this and I think the just to make the video shorter and I don't let me before before I go on let me show you what uh, and how we store a segmentary right so just to store a segmentary we'll st we store segmentary in an array and to x if you have uh, studied how we store uh, trees in array uh, then you know this a uh, formula where to fetch the child of any node this is the node to fetch the child of parent we just need to put the index of the parent here and the left child turns out to be parent star 2 plus 1 so for this example we have 0 and the child of 0 should be put 0 here 0 star 2 plus 1 0 multiplied by 2 plus 1 so the left child of 0 is 1 and the right child is 0 star 2 plus 2 
so the right child is 2 so let's consider this element what is the child of 6 so the child of 6 put it here the child of 6 is 6 star 2 plus 1 which is 13 and then right child of 6 is 14 and so on this is how it's stored this is the array form of segmentary and this is the uh, tree form of segmentary right just take a look at this we store uh, the root value stores the value from 0 to 7 and then here and here here and here and this is quite self-explanatory now let's get into the coding part and I'll make a separate video for the coding part just so the video don't get very long 